Welcome to episode five in this series. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to finish loading the backend data into the UI and uh, then hopefully also get to actually starting uh, to track time for a task or a project uh, so that I can then start actually using the app on my own. Uh, and that's basically going to be the goal for today. So um, yeah, let's get started. Build a unique character, a unique brand, a unique mindset, where then luck finds you. been caught in this like circular argument with uh, ChatGPT now for so long and it's like I guess that thing where it's like the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result it's so frustrating and now it's like I've spent so much time just basically doing the exact same thing over and over again um, I need to come up with some other way to do this, but I don't understand how I can do this. Or I'm not doing it in the right way, so I'm like trying to use a square to fit inside a circular shape, and it's, it's not going to work. Um, that's what I'm assuming that I'm doing right now, and uh, I need to figure out how to find the square for the square, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I've been spending way, I've been spending just way too long doing this. It's 9.50 a.m. right now. I've been sitting for an hour longer than I was going to. But yeah, now we're going to make my breakfast shake and uh, then we'll get back to it. Right now I do need to take the thumbnail for the previous episode of this video series that you're watching and uh, because that is coming out today as I'm filming this video uh, at 12 p.m. and that is in one hour and 20 minutes. So I need to get a thumbnail for that which is a perfect break uh, to take from this programming that I've been doing. So uh, we're going to do that and then come back to it and hopefully we'll be able to solve uh, the problem. All right, so let's have a look. I think this, something like this is gonna be the angle for the thumbnail. All right, so I think I got the image. So here's a little look behind the scenes. That's where the light is. It's shining onto this bit of diffusion that I just hung up. And it's shining onto this, which is the scene that we're trying to shoot. Now you can see this is what the shot looked like. Because we have this little light here, it makes it look like that light is shining onto the laptop, which I thought looked really cool. So uh, yeah, this is the effort that I go into uh, for some of the thumbnails that I take. All right, and now we can start editing these photos.
Okay, so I'm literally, I'm so tired right now. I, all I want to do is just go to sleep. But I also know that this, I need to basically just do this and not think about it and go to the gym. Because I know that the reason that I'm this tired is just because I haven't eaten and probably because I need to do something else. I need to get the blood moving through exercise. But it's the last thing that I want to do right now. Uh, and I have absolutely no motivation. All I want to do is go to that couch and just lay down and listen to something and just sleep for like an hour or something. But we're not going to do that. Yeah, but like I say, I really don't. Like the first ever event I went to back in like 20. All right, so now I'm dressed for the gym and uh, I'm going to go work out. It's a bit later than I wanted. It's 3.30 p.m. Um, and I probably won't be back until like 5, probably. All right, so I'm leaving the gym now and I completely forgot to film anything inside because I'm that, that exhausted. Uh, but yeah, I've done the workout and uh, now we'll get back home, we'll see if I'll continue because I feel really tired. So uh, maybe it would make sense to actually take the rest of the evening off and uh, come back to it tomorrow morning. All right, so I'm home now and I've been home for like an hour, I think. Uh, and I'm just not really able to get much done. I feel super tired. And um, yeah. I think I'm just going to take the rest of the evening off and relax. Maybe watch a movie or watch something on TV and just not film and edit and program for the rest of the evening. Also, before I go, just how nice is this shot? With that light in the background and I'm lit from the window in front of me. Pretty happy with it. Do not mind the fact that I'm sitting in an outside furniture thing and I have it indoors. All right, so now we're gonna do my evening routine, which is something that I do, I legitimately do this every single night. It's not a big thing, it's just what I drink, essentially, before I go to bed. The first part of this routine is this drink, which is a heaped teaspoon of honey mixed into hot water so that it melts. And then I pour in some cold water, and then sometimes I'll have to cool the outside of the glass to just stabilize the temperature for the next thing that's going in, which is a, again, heaped tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is a tip I got from a Tim Ferriss video, which is where he does his evening routine. Highly recommend watching that video. It's really soothing, gets me in the mood for going to sleep. But in that video, he recommends this drink and uh, I've been trying it and I really like it. I've tried it a couple years ago as well for a long time. And I do really like it. Plus, apple cider vinegar contains some really good bacteria for the gut. So it feels like a win-win. There's not really any, I don't see any reason for not doing this. And um, so I've been doing it and I like it. And then I'll also drink a cup of chamomile tea uh, after I've, I'm done drinking this thing uh, until I'm ready to go brush my teeth. And then I'll brush my teeth and then go to bed. Uh, but yeah, this is the start of my evening routine and then I'll take you along to the next part as well. Oh fuck. Oh, it's so sour. 
uh, it's like painful to drink. Oh, uh, but yeah, highly recommend trying it. Poison from the main line. And so now I will just brush my teeth uh, before I get in the bath. Uh, also, if you start doing, if you start flossing, then after a while, you won't feel like you've brushed your teeth until you've flossed. And that's the way that I've done it. So now I really can't brush my teeth in the evening without flossing first because it feels like I haven't brushed my teeth. And then as the final thing before I go into the bath, I will put some eucalyptus oil, a couple of drops into the water just because it smells nice. Usually I will actually have some Epsom salt as well, but I don't have any today because I ran out. Uh, but yeah, now I'll go in the tub. All right, so now I've had my bath and uh, this is uh, the final part of this evening routine, which is basically just a 10 to 15 minute meditation using uh, the Sam Harris uh, waking up app and I'm basically just doing the introductory course and and as always I've left the window open to cool down the bed uh, before I go to sleep. Okay, so now I'm basically just gonna read uh, until I go to sleep. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna come back tomorrow and continue with the app uh, for a few hours in the morning. Hopefully I'll be able to solve the problem that I was working on this morning. Uh, I think I will be able to. I'm very excited about that, to be honest. But yeah, good night. Right, uh, we have exactly three hours from now, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then that's all the time that I have for this video. It's Friday today, so um, we have until ten, and then I have to end this video. So we'll see how far we get. Uh, I want to be able to finish this thing and actually start loading uh, a new table from the database into the UI, uh, which is what I was struggling with yesterday, but I think I'm close to it now. Now I just have to figure out where I lose um, some data, essentially. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's just start. So let's set a timer again for two hours and 56 minutes and start. Yes, 
I think we're able to do it now. Finally. Uh, it's only been 26 minutes. Cheers to that one. I think I need to, because right now this is becoming this ginormous uh, widget. And I think what we need is we basically need all of these things to be separate widgets. Just separate things out a little bit, break it up so that we have smaller widgets taking care of smaller tasks instead of having one giant widget that loads everything from the database for all the tasks, all the projects, all the time entries and then we just have a giant mess. Uh, we can instead have separate widgets that do very small tasks. Okay, so uh, now we're actually loading everything into the UI the way that it's supposed to be. Um, thing is, we don't really have, we only have one project that's connected to a time entry, which means that uh, for the other time entries, rather, uh, there aren't any projects or anything connected to it, which is why it says no projects available. Uh, but yeah. This is what it looks like right now. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it a day here because I started to understand how to do that using the block provider thing in Flutter. I'm not sure if it's the best way because, because right now, the way that I've written it out, I will need to copy giant pieces of code and basically just paste them into new files and rewrite them just a little bit uh, for uh, it to work. And so I want to have something that's a little bit less, where we don't have as much, I don't know if it's called redundancy. I'm looking for the word. I keep looking for the word, but I don't remember it. Uh, but we don't want to have duplicate lines of code, essentially. That's what we want to avoid. So uh, that's going to be uh, the project for next episode. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.